Hello, hello! My name is Callista and welcome back to Life is Strange True Colours. In the last episode, we finished off chapter two. The investigation into Gabe's death has properly began. We know that Mac is lying. He did receive the call from Gabe. He sent through the warning and for some reason, the blast went on ahead. Why is that? Why is Diane so nervous about all of this? Now, if Diane is responsible, I feel like that would be too easy an answer. Because again, you know, Typhon is involved. She's the Typhon representative, you know. It, it's just too simple. I'm sticking with my theory that Riley did it. I feel like that would be rather unexpected. Maybe she's secretly working for Typhon, trying to get some money to attend university. Like, I, I'm just saying, I'm keeping my eye on Riley. I'm keeping my eye on Riley as we make a start on chapter three. Chapter three, monster or mortal? Ooh. You have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Okay, so we're, we're just straight up opening. They've told Steph. Okay, um... I mean... We're on episode three. Would Alex have gotten more comfortable with her power? We're now at the turning point. We're at the turning point. I guess my question would be, has Alex done anything where she'd be like, oh yeah, this is a superpower. This is a superpower. We saved Ethan, yes, but I think, I think that whole experience is being marred with, and then Gabe died. I feel like Alex would still be nervous. Not so into calling it a superpower, but all the rest is true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <sighs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now. Whether it's true or not, you don't like being left out. Okay. Oh shit. The foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. I will say this this feels a little silly because there is having empathy powers like when Ryan was laughing and thinking about like, oh yeah, that time we ran over a goose. Now that was impressive. He was laughing, he wasn't talking about that. And Alex was like, oh yeah, you ran over a goose, da da da. Like that, that is a superpower. Being able to go, oh shit, she got sad at seeing Gabe's foosball trophy. I should redirect her towards foosball. Like that's just called having basic human empathy. That's not a superpower. That is going, okay, she got sad about the foosball. I should ask her about foosball. That the things with Steph, I'm like, this is basic empathy. The things with Ryan, that's a superpower. The the idea of like, you feel hurt that we left you out. Again, that's basic human empathy. That feels a little silly. That feels a little silly. Um, I mean, she feels hurt. She feels hurt. Yeah, sorry. Being around memories of Gabe was making you so sad. I wanted to help. You did. I'm just surprised. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, 
any sign of Diane today? No. But she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. Okay. Okay, can do. First things first. I'm gonna look around though. Also, da da da. There we go. What is happening here? Let's see. There we go. Okay, so, so Jed. Many memories of Gabe I didn't get to make. Oh, I know, darling. Thank you to everyone who attended the Gabe Chen memorial service and a special show of gratitude to those who spoke. I think we did Gabe proud. Aww. Steph, do you remember that thing he used to do when he would get choked up but he was too embarrassed to admit it? Ryan, I haven't cried since I was 14. Steph, it's allergies. Riley, don't look at me. Ryan, I'm gonna miss him a lot. Steph, same. Riley, yeah. Oof. Charlotte, Hey all, I've decided to close my portrait commissions for the time being. I need to work through my backlog, sorry to disappoint. Ashley, take all the time you need. Josh, nuts, knew I shouldn't have put this off. And then Steph, last call for LARPers. For those who haven't, I'm, just, I'm sorry, to, to Stephanie. He starred in a science fiction film, what the hell? And Ducky, what is your backstory? Sorry, Steph, last call for LARPers. For those who haven't heard, I'm planning a LARP live action role play for the afternoon of the Spring Festival and I'm in dire need of NPCs. If you've ever wanted to try LARPing, this is a fun, low pressure way to get your feet wet. Come on by the record traders and let's talk details. Ducky to Stefan, and he's using her proper name as well, her full name. Oh, Ducky's adorable. If Ducky did it, I will be outraged. I said the exact same thing about Riley, but now I like that theory. I just, Ducky's too sweet. Ducky is too sweet and lovely to have ever done anything wrong. Ducky to Stephanie. Did I ever tell you that I starred in a science fiction film? I was fresh from Korea when the director, Mr. Julius Allen Silver, spotted me in a hardware store. He said, Mr. Have you considered being in pictures? Of course I had not, but in those days I was eager to swallow any morsel on my plate, so to speak. So of course I agreed. The film was to be called Invaders from the Mechanical Planet. I believe I still have a reel around here somewhere should you wish to organise a screening. Aw, oh, Steph, Ducky, I have genuinely never wanted anything more in my life. Ryan, I'm down. Steph, I've got plans for you, kid. Ryan, uh-oh. What's Ryan doing? What have you got Ryan doing? Best job I've ever had. Not that the competition is super fierce. The Black Lantern. Attention Black Lantern customers, the Black Lantern is happy to announce that we have returned to our normal hours of operation. We want to thank you all for your patience and support during what has been a difficult time for many in our community. We look forward to seeing you all soon. Oh, and on a happier note, we want to give a big Black Lantern welcome to Alex Chen, who has accepted a full-time waitstaff position with us. Be sure to show her some love when you see her. Then Jason, nice, go Alex. Jason has a crush on us. I wholeheartedly believe this. Jason has a crush on us. Riley, Hart, Ashley, excellent news. And then, Typhon Mining. Reminder to all Haven residents that Typhon Mining will be setting off charges tonight at 5pm. Please ensure designated danger zones are clear. Call our 24-hour safety line with any questions or concerns. And please take note of our revised safety protocols publicly available on our website. Stay safe and have a wonderful spring festival. And they've disabled replies because of course they have. Then Steph, LARP volunteers. Some of you still haven't synced up with me about your characters. Cutting it a little close here, buds. Hit me up. Ducky to Stephanie. <laughs> I've written an extensive backstory for my character inspired in part by sections of Wu. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. Wu Chang'an's Journey to the West. However, when I try to include it in this application, I receive an error message to the effect that I've exceeded the character limit. Thoughts? 
Steph. Well, I know what I'm doing with my afternoon. Can you drop off a copy at the shop? Ducky, on my way. I love Ducky. Ducky is my favourite. Left Flowers. Good morning, Haven Springs. The famous rose cart has been polished up and stocked with our finest. You can find it in the park at sundown. Pick one up and present it to your spring festival sweetheart. Hector. Man, nobody's ever given me a rose at the spring festival. Steph. Don't worry, nobody's ever given Ryan one either. <laughs> oh, Ryan, ha ha, we'll see who's laughing tonight. Steph, me, at you. Right, yeah, probably. Steph, dude, it's no fun picking on you if you're just going to admit defeat. Oh, poor Ryan. And, ooh, okay. We have a fair few, Mac. Hello. Now then. Okay, guys, I'm making this official. Welcome to the Takedown Typhon thread. Steph, fuck yeah. Ryan, it's an honour and a pleasure. Steph, let's celebrate at Alex's place tonight. Ryan, shouldn't Alex make that proposal? Steph, too late. Well, I guess I'm hosting then. You two free tonight for more scheming. Ryan, sounds good. Steph, I'm down. Crazy idea. Let's break into the Typhon office in Denver. I've got it all figured out. I bet they have server access there. We can find evidence. Steph, we're not driving to Denver and breaking into a highly secure corporate office. Steph, boo. But if we did, could I be the getaway driver? Sure. Ryan, but Steph, your license is expired. How do you even know that? Steph, because he's a big loser. Ryan, a loser with a valid license. You guys are killing me. And Charlotte. Okay, okay. Okay, they're, they're setting up a girls' night. Oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. They are bonding. Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay, yeah, this is this is from them. Yeah, can you come by the dispensary? Okay, there we go. Your speech on the bridge was beautiful. Thank you for being there for us. Of course. A Typhon li liar. Oh, <laughs> Freudian slip there. You you all know what I think of this company. A Typhon lawyer stopped by to give me more details about the financial assistance. Thanks again for your advice. Hell yeah, I'd much rather you take their money than Typhon keep it. Hey Alex, would you like to come over for dinner tonight? That sounds amazing. I'd love to. Can I bring anything? Just you. Maybe wine. Lol, see you tonight. Hey again, I'm a little worn out. Any chance you could watch Ethan on Wednesday? Happy to. Can you pay me in more of those lemon bars you made from last week? For sure. Do you want the recipe? Nah, I'd much rather earn them by hanging out with Ethan than actually having to cook. Good deal. Hi, Alex. I'm so sorry, but I have to cancel our girls' night. I'm not feeling great. No prob. Do you need anything? I'm okay. Thanks, though. Char, how many gummies is too many gummies? Oh, sweetie, try and relax. Can you tell me how many you had? How worried would you be if I said five gummies? Did you have anything else with them? Alcohol, other medication, just snacks. Take a nice deep breath, try a drink of water and lie down on your side. Don't drive or do anything serious and it will pass. You had a little more than the normal dose, but nothing dangerous. Okay, thank you. Did I ever tell you that I think you're so beautiful? Thank you. Just put your phone down and close your eyes. Hey, those texts last night were totally just a test. Did I pass? With flying colours. Ironically, flying colours are also what I see when I close my eyes today. Lol. Alex, don't don't hit on your deceased brother's girlfriend. Don't do that. Okay, and Mac. Thanks for the help, Chen. Just remember, I never told you anything. I risked more than just my job to talk to you. I hear you, Mac. Don't worry, get some sleep. Easier said than done. Oof. And then Ryan. Okay, what? Well, oh, they're, they're going mountain biking. Flipping heck. Okay, I think, I think this is after their talk. Thanks again for everything today. I'm glad I could help. Do you want to meet tonight and plan what's next for our super sleuthing? Absolutely, just tell me where and when, smiley face. Hey, you need a break from all the late night research. Want to go mountain biking Saturday? Hurtling over dangerous terrain? So relaxing. You'll have fun, I promise. Okay, I'll try. And then, two hours later, don't worry, we can replace the front wheel. My ass still hurts, lol. You handled it like a champ. 
short notice, but tonight is my annual viewing of this amazing nature documentary if you want to join. Amazingly, Steph is busy for the third year in a row. I'm detecting a pattern here. Hmm, is there a stuffy British dude narrating the stuffiest? Right answer, I'm in. Oh, that's sweet. And then Steph? Steph, where, where were we at with you? Mm. Ooh, tunnels and chambers. She's Steph's inviting us to D and D. Like Alex, Alex, your social calendar is so full. Okay, there we go. Okay, I think this is new. Hey, don't think you're done playing foosball with me. The rivalry continues. I need a chance to redeem myself after that awful performance. I'm sorry, that championship was final. What? JK, oh, you bitch, lol. I was devastated. I'd love to keep playing. Come over tonight? Sick. Alex, I'm gonna start running a Tunnels and Chambers game this week if you wanna join. Hey, I have no idea what that involves. It involves fun. <laughs> Sitting around with snacks, role-playing a cool story, pretending to kill stuff, I'm summarising. Is it okay if I'm terrible? One, you won't be terrible. Two, sit in on our first session. We can play it by ear. Rad. You're free tonight. Ryan and I are meeting up and I wanted to fill you in on some of the digging we're doing on Typhon. Hell yeah, I'd love to help. Yo, sop. What do you think about bringing that guitar over to the record store and jamming a bit? Like, in front of other living human beings? Just this living human being. I haven't played in front of other people in recent memory. I may be particular about a lot of things, but in this case, I'm a judgment-free zone. What the hell? Let's go for it. What time? Any time tonight, I'm here. I think I need another jam session tonight. What say you? I say yay. Yes, I have some ideas. Oh dear. No, oh dear, I promise. By the way, you're genuinely great. You have a gorgeous voice. Thank you. That's way too kind. Maybe a downright lie. Nah. Aw. That's sweet. Okay. Oh, oh, she's gaming with Riley. Okay. Okay. Now, where are you? Okay, there we go. Hi, how have you been holding up? Hey, Riley, I'm doing pretty okay, actually, thanks. How are you? Good, drowning in flowers. Please send help. Lol. Okay, random question. Random answer. Are you Princess Shushu 2539? Oh my god, how? Lol. No, really, how? You showed me Shushu when I visited, remember? And 2539 is Alex on a phone keypad. I've been had. <laughs> so you play Dust and Daylight. I didn't take you for a JRPG girl. Yeah, me neither. I found it here and thought I'd give it a shot. Now I can't get enough. I thought I was playing single player only. You must have spirit guides turned on because I could see you wandering around the Port of Clouds. Ah, that's so cool. Can we play some time? I'm stuck at the big scorpion boss. I'd love to. Hey girl, thanks for the drink last night. Great to just unwind with you. You got it. Let's do it again. Aw, that's so lovely. <laughs> that's so lovely that her, just her, her calendar, you know, she's hanging out with people. The community has kind of rallied around her. I'm just like, oh. Now let's see. Have, have I read this? It's it's not it's not very familiar. So yeah, we'll we'll read it now. Steph sorrow. Steph's sadness was born out of love. It wasn't empty. There was dimension to it. A form and volume of loss that I could not that I could step inside. In there, I met a Gabe who felt much like my own, only more so. An instigator, a listener, a prodder, a cheerleader, a shit stirrer, a brother, basically. It wasn't long, but it was enough to know exactly what Steph needed. The best piece of my brother I could conjure for her from thin air for just a moment. So I kicked her ass in foosball and celebrated in the most obnoxious way I could, naturally. It was dumb and goofy and over in a flash, but in its wake the sadness was lifted, and Gabe didn't seem quite as gone as before. First Ethan, now Steph. I think I'm finally starting to understand this thing. Gabe was right. 
It's a gift to connect to someone, to feel what they're feeling, to help them. Just wish he'd been around to tell me earlier. I'm assuming this must have been a conversation they had off screen because, you know, we, we avoided telling Gabe about our secret. So I'm, I'm assuming this must be something he and Alex had talked about previously. Foosball champion, don't shit on my yard. I'll be crashing here tonight. Move to Denver, one more game. I want to make things right. I don't want to fight. So I'll be crashing here tonight. Don't turn out the light. Aw. Eleanor Fear. Think about those times you forgot what you were about to say or why you went into a room or someone's name who you've met a million times. We call it a brain fart, which is a funny term for all your synapses suddenly malfunctioning. In reality, it's one of the worst, it's one of the most helpless feelings there is. That's what Eleanor felt like in the flower shop, only more so. It was a quiet, unknowing terror. It takes a special kind of person to handle that without breaking down. Eleanor is strong, stubborn too, but strong as hell. If I wasn't able to see her aura, I may never have known. I led her out of the fog. What a relief, but then she didn't remember Gabe's death, and my stomach dropped with and my stomach dropped about three stories into the floor. Telling her was agony. Seeing it all over again, like it just happened. Was the truth worth the price? I don't know. Thinking about it now, I feel powerless all over again. It, it was. It was worth the price. She's an adult. Yes, she has dementia or Alzheimer's. That doesn't mean she should be treated like a baby. Like, no, she's an adult. She should be treated with respect. Everything is becoming so out of order. All my memories are fading. They'll make me close this place. It hurts to think of what's to come when I no longer know this place and all I hear are fading drums and I cannot recall your face. Damn. Ryan Rage. Ryan's anger had teeth. It was sharp, savage, self-directed, a rabid animal with its prey cornered. And because he was convinced he had earned that anger, he was ready to submit to it, to let it eat him alive. It was strange finding the shape of Gabe in the absence he'd left behind. I want more of Gabe than I got. Ryan got it, a whole Gabe, a Gabe who breathed and took up space. And then the knife, the rope, the ravine, the only things in the world. He hated himself. I told him the truth, that Gabe would have forgiven him, that he wasn't alone. My job is to keep people safe, not a hero or coward, dead because of me. Can't shake the thought that you're dead because of me and you're not here to forgive. I don't know how to go where the dead folks go but I also don't know how to live. Oof. And then Ryan, Joy. How do I even start? That gold glow. The way the pain and tension gradually fell away from Ryan's face. And then the laughter. The private joy of the moment when Ryan chose to turn a dumb mistake into a prank. The trust he had for Gabe. The love. The certain knowledge that he could fuck with Gabe and get away with it. That Gabe would love him for it. I pieced it together, found it in the clouds. The goose, the car, the grave. And for just a minute, I got to have the sort of relationship with Gabe that Ryan had. I feel so fucking grateful for that. This morning, I thought I'd only ever know people through their pain. I thought I could live with that if it meant helping people, honouring Gabe. But then this, joy, like a life raft, a pocket of air at the top of an underwater lake. Everything feels different now. Property of the Crown, a lot of blood. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. Should have dug a deeper grave. It's the night of the living geese. Now I'm wanted for goose aside by the Mounted Police. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, Steph and Ryan know the big secret. It is such a relief having them in my corner. Hmm. How's it going? We have some ideas that are going to blow your mind. Well, let's not get ahead of it. Blow your mind. <laughs> Can't wait. Okay. I'm, I'm preparing to have my mind blown. Okay, Jed, thank you so much for remembering my birthday last week. And that... Uh, Marco... Es Esquanda tequila was excellent. You are welcome over any time you... One 
second. Okay, thank you so much for remembering my birthday last week. That Marco Esquanda was right. Tequila was excellent. You are welcome over any time. Your best cook by a long shot, Francisco. Okay. Ah, Colorado tap water. Mm. I'm not convinced this is totally sanitary, but what do I know? Hey, it's a, it's a staple of bars. How do these bird washing contests even work? Who's checking the sightings? Are you questioning my victory? Miranda, I would never. But I do wonder about the other guys. There's an honor code among birders. I've been competing since I was 12 and I've never seen it broken. 12? Wow. So this win is a big deal for you. Congrats. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we were able to help her win, eh? Hey! One second, no, I... And she's happy. Also, hell, I see you in the back there. In your face, Ryan Lucan. I'm birder of the year and your reign is finished. Uh-oh, better not tell Ryan I had a hand in that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ryan. I'm sorry. Oh, Eleanor. I can get help on my own. Riley never needs to know about my condition. I won't have to be a burden. It breaks my heart that she's coping with this alone. Oh, darling. I feel terrible for Eleanor. And I don't think it's getting any easier. Hey, Eleanor. How are you? I'm doing okay. Thank you, dear. I really appreciate your help from a couple weeks ago. It means a lot to me. Of course. I'm glad I could help. Okay, so it's it's from a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so there's been there's been a, a slight time jump in between episodes. Got it. I better do some Where are you? Girl from Rome. Gosh. I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went. Okay. Okay, and yes, Alex, I hear you about cleaning up. However, there's, there's stuff to look at. People to talk to. Definitely the best boss I've ever had. Which, to be fair, isn't that high a bar. Did you trade out the quarters in the register yet? All you, kid. Okay. Hey, where do we keep unused jukebox CDs? We don't. Everything we have is in the jukebox. Cool. Just curious. Okay. Haven Springs Town Council notice. The Black Lantern will be closed on the last Thursday of every month from 8 a.m. to 11.30 a.m. for Town Council business. Please direct questions and concerns to Council Chair Jed Lucan. Thank you for your understanding. Okay. And hello. Respect to anyone that chooses to locomote for sport. I can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. Oh, darling, darling. <laughs> No one's gonna give a shit. No, I, I know that's a thing that puts so many people off from going to the gym. Oh, there'll be people who judge me and like, no one will. No one will. No one gives a shit at the gym. No one gives a shit if you're out running, trust me. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. Trust me. You're not alone. I hope, I hope that... Yet yeah, no, we can't, we can't dink her anymore. I, I just hope that that did something. 
I think our chat actually helped. Hey! Sorry, Steph, but there can only be one jukebox hero. Now, the girl said something about, um... Okay, so we're at the end. Who's girl from Rome. Theodosius, like that's a Latin name. So, well, this is that. Is that the song you wanted, madam? Is that the right one? I wonder what the song was. Maybe I can find out. Hmm. Oh well, there, there goes my timer. Where are you? Girl from Rome. Okay, well, this this will be a mystery for the next episode because I'm just about out of time for this one. So until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. <laughs>